Okay guys, um, I'm gonna go through how to rig a live bait trace or a dead bait trace for bottom fishing, whether it be off a kayak or off a ski boat. Specifically targeting, say, yellowtail, amberjack, um, dogger salmon or dusky cob, and gelbeck salmon. So, basically, you go with a slightly bigger hook. Um, I like the tuna circle hook. You either get the, de the demon, which is a slightly heavier gauge, it's the black one, or you get the tuna circle, which is between the fine and the, and the demon, which is the extra heavy. Sizes I like to use are either a 9-0, 10 even an 11 -0. The reason for using the bigger hook is you actually need to get around the jaw of that, of that bottom fish. So he's got a much thicker, thicker bottom jaw. So with the, with the bigger hook and the wider gape, it is a lot easier for you to hook up with these fish. Okay, I'm going to be using a uh, combi crane Kingfisher power swivels. Um, the reason why I use these is because it doesn't twist up your line when you're using a heavy sinker and you're sending your bait down to the bottom. Um, they really are brilliant. Um, I'll show you a couple of tricks to also stop them from twisting up. You can make multi-hook traces with these um, for live bait purposes and for this, for this demonstration. I'm going to just make a single hook trace. So. Again, I'm going to go about a meter and a half. I'm using 070 line here, which is 55 pound. But you can go right up to one mil, 1.2 mil, just depending um, on where you're fishing and how deep you're fishing and what you're fishing for. So obviously your main line is going to come off the top of the swivel. This pivoting swivel is where your, where your hook snoot is actually going to come off of. So that's going to be your main line, which is going up to your rod. That's going to be your line going down to your sinker. I'm going to tie a three turn figure of eight. One, two, three. Pull that through, open it up. Again, a lot of guys get a lot of twisting on their, on their line here, and this actually catches. It's quite important to cut this tag in very, very short. If you leave a tag in, it actually hooks the other line and it can twist it up. So that's about it, it's about a meter and a half. I'm going to do a stiff rig on the circle hook. And what you do is you come in through the top of the eye, like so. The reason for that is when you put pressure, it turns the hook in. It doesn't turn the hook out. If you come in from the bottom, for instance, and you put pressure, you see it's turning the hook away from the, away from the, the line. So you must make sure that you come in through the top of the hook. Okay, I do a three turn figure of eight. You can do a snell knot or a nail knot. Um, but I do a three turn figure of eight across the shank, so one, two, three times. Coming from the back, I open up my loops. So my three loops, it's just a figure of eight with a third turn. Wet it, pull it tight, and then again I cut the tag in. Okay, because you've got such a big hook with such a big gape. You don't necessarily have to bridle it or cable tie the, the live bait. So all you do is you just go through the top jaw. Around the bone as close as you can to the, to the front of the live bait. So through the eye of the hook and through the nose, right on the tip there, just behind the bone. And that's your live bait. Okay. So that's how that would be rigged. If this was a dead bait or sardine or, wanting, or something like that and you wanted to use a dead bait, not necessarily a live bait, it's pretty much the same. The only difference is you just go through both lips. Like so. Then all you would do is you would just cut the tail. The tail can, can actually spin up the line as it goes down to the bottom. So if it's a dead bait, you're just going to snip the tail. Um, you can also fillet it and flap it, um, it's just personal preference. Okay, then the rest of the trace, you're just going to make your, your sinker snoot. Um, that's just personal preference. Um, I like to make mine about at least a meter long, sometimes up to two meters. Um, and that's basically your, your bottom fishing trace, a standard rig bottom fishing trace with a circle hook.